on the 14th day of the first month. He assigned the priests to their duties and encouraged them to carry out the service of the house of the service of the house of Jehovah. Then he said to the Levites, James chapter 10, all Israel, those who are holy to Jehovah, but the holy Put the holy ark in, that, in the house that Solomon, the son of David, the king of Israel built. You are no longer to carry out, all, out on your shoulders. Now serve Jehovah your God and his people Israel through Moses. Joshua contributed flocks to his people, male lambs, young male goats, for all for the Passover sacrifices. For all who were presented a total of 30,000 as well as 3,000 cattle. These were from the king's own property. His princes also made a contribution as a voluntary for the people, the priests the, and the Levites, Hedekiah, Zechariah, and Jehiah, the leaders of the house of the true God, by their places, and the Levites by their division, as the king had commanded. So they slaughtered the Passover sacrifice, and the priests recalled the blood that they received from them, while the Levites were skinning the animal. The priests recalled the blood that they received from them, while the Levites were skinning the animals. Next, they prepared the burnt offerings so as to distribute them to all the rest of the people. Then they made preparation for themselves and for the peace, because the, the priests, the descendants of Aaron, were offering up the burnt sacrifices and fat pieces until nightfall. So the Levites made preparation for themselves and for the priests, because the priests, the descendants of Aaron.